Hello ladies and gents, welcome to Switch and Shoot. Um, this is a little game I played a few years ago at a gaming convention and I've been really trying to get around to actually properly playing it ever since and now I am, and that's the story. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Okay, and this game is as simple as it is. There's only one button and that is you just you, 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 there's one button and you push it and you either move to the left or move to the right and you shoot. It is literally you can play this entire thing with one button and that is its whole thing. And you may think that might be frustrating or you may think oh that's probably irritating or something. Well actually that is a lot of fun. That's what makes this game fun. Is the fact that it is one button. It also makes it really difficult. Damn it! Hey, you have score. I actually survived more than two seconds. Okay, this is. Far! Come on! Ah, shit! Shh, come on! Oh! Oh my God! This is so far. Hey, I got a uh, gold achievement. That's how we started, boys. That's how we start off. We start off from the bottom, now we're here. If I was doing a game review on this, I would essentially just say, Oh, it's the Dark Souls of arcade games. Get it? Because anyone, whenever there's a video game that's quite hard or some level of difficulty, they have to immediately compare it to Dark Souls. Boom. Game, journal game journalism in a nutshell. I am not saying bugger all in this entire video because I am hard, hard, hard concentrating right now. What's the point in the power-up? What's the point in the power-ups if I can barely get further enough than just like one? Oh wow, I killed- oh wow. Look at me go! Look at me doing it! I'm doing it, ma! I'm finally doing it! Be proud of me! Did it! Yes! 23! That might seem like very minuscule in accomplishments, but for me, it's something! You know, when I say it out loud like that, it really sounds quite pathetic. Shit. 
Right, I think I thought I think I think I've come up with a strategy. That is to play like an absolute nerd. But hey, look, I got 36. All right. See the strat, the strat, the, the nerd strat works. The nerd strat works. You gotta do the nerd strat, and every so often you gotta grow some testicles and uh, step outside your comfort zone. But be careful when stepping outside your comfort zone. actually a lot of fun a ton of fun and, and, and it's, uh, it's, it's it's an indie game essentially but I still think this game is a lot of fun it's, it's definitely something to play ev like every now often just just for fun and the sakes and everything I I generally do like this game a lot it's the most simplest thing in the world one button that's all you need to play this game, and I think the fact that it just drives with it is what makes it amazing. So if you don't have it, it's like three quid, maybe five dollars in America or something. I don't know it's like three quid where I'm at. It was like around three quid. It's on Steam. It's on itch.io. Uh, um, I'm not sure what else you can get it on. But yeah, those are the two uh, websites, I, uh, gaming websites and gaming shops I know you can get it on. So yeah, um, do support this guy. I will leave some links down if anybody wants to buy this game and play it for themselves. So um, yeah, go check it out. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already subscribed, ring the bell because you know notifications because YouTube says, um, fuck you, you're subscribed to this channel already, but you need to click another button if you want to actually get notified when this person uploads. Leave a comment and share this video. Anyway, catch you guys all later. Goodbye!